So National Museum of Ireland has been deeply involved in the overall Decade of Centenaries programme and we've run a number of exhibitions. I think what's especially exciting about this particular exhibition though is the insight that it gives from the point of view of the citizen. So this idea of the photographs that were taken by people as they walked through the streets right at the time that these events were happening. One of the key objectives of the Decade of Centenaries commemorations is to promote a greater understanding of this period in our history and how it gave rise to very different narratives and memories. This new exhibition provides a valuable insight because it's made up of everyday images, many of them captured by members of the public. Photo Museum Ireland are delighted to partner with the Imaging Conflict Exhibition here at the National Museum of Ireland. This for us is part of our wider year-long programme surveying the history of photography in Ireland. What's different about this is it goes beyond the official viewpoints on this period to give much more diverse, sensitive, subjective look at the role of photography in reflecting our history. This is a very significant exhibition in terms of looking at the National Museum of Ireland's photographic collection, but also in addressing the history of photography. We have exhibitions of the revolutionary period which use photography, but may not necessarily look at the different types of images that were created, the different technologies, and the way photography changed and was integral to the conflicts that went on during this period. Well, here in the exhibition, what we're looking at in this section where we're talking about war and the body is where bodies could be photographed and used and where they couldn't be. For example, we've got this very graphic image of the Loch Nan brothers who were murdered by the British auxiliaries in Galway. We're using it in order to talk about the fact that such images were used as propaganda. We don't know exactly how this image was circulated, but we do have hints that it was circulated in the local community. I think probably the most exciting thing about this exhibition is that it's the first time that many of these images have been on display. Mm -hmm.